Hey moms, how were or how are your students score in their report books? Are you happy with them? Are you not happy with them? Are you disappointed at them or something? Well, <laughs> I have one kid. I mean, I have three kids, right? Two of them are students. My daughter is in the seventh grade and my son is in the first grade of elementary school. I have got the report uh, book from my son. And I have to be honest with you that I'm not happy with it. I'm a bit disappointed. Well, this, the teacher graded this course. And apparently, my kid is the average. He's got, he's in the 16th place out of 22 students. That's a bit, uh, but then I tell myself that it's okay. I mean, kids are unique. They have their own abilities. They have their own inabilities. They have their own weaknesses. They have their own strength and so on. And you can't compare your kids to your other kids or your friends gave something you can't because they have their own strength or weakness and something and i haven't found my kid's strength yet but oh uh, his lack of focus when his teacher told me that yeah he, it's kind of hard for him to focus on one thing on studying on listening or how, what teacher tells him it's kind of hard for them so yeah, that's at least a lesson I can learn from getting the report book. He's lack of focus. He can't, he can't focus that much. And I have to work hard on it. I don't know how. I will try to find a way to, well, to do something about it. Yes. But one thing for sure, I remember Dedi Corbusier uh, shared this video telling us that Scores on your report card, on your kid's report card, um, are not the standard of how the future is. They can gain like 95, they can gain like A, they can gain like A+, plus, but their future is a bit different. It's a different thing. It's a different kind of level. And it's true. I mean, I saw, I mean, I had some friends when I was in high school, they were brilliant students. They were brilliant in the academic thing. But, oh, in the future, they're somehow, they, it's, they have difficulties of getting a good job or earning some money. They have such difficulty. So, Pak Dedi, it's true. It's true. From that moment on, oh, um, my kids, I don't think that he is brilliant in his academic achievement or something, no. But I believe that I have to do something to prepare him for a better future by, let's say, well, I can speak in English, so of course I will teach him how to speak in English. And I hope that one day that I help him, that I, that I help to shape his better future. He doesn't have to be good at math he doesn't have to be good at oh let's say science he doesn't have to be good at physical education he doesn't have to be good at some of them or even all of them yeah he just needs to explore and i just gotta help him exploring what he can do and so you know it will be good for his future I mean